Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. Uh, firstly, firstly, a few of you guys have been mentioning mentioning my biceps in, in the comments, um, accusing me of being on steroids. Um, but no, I'm not on steroids. Um, I've just been training, um, well, five times a week at the gym. And then I also have a gym um, behind me, uh, literally behind me in this office just here. Um, where I've where I've been training biceps literally every day. So been work been working on these. Been trying to get them. Been trying to grow them bigger. Um, basically, I spent like a lot. I spent years, like literally since I was fourteen, um, doing weight training. Um, and for a lot of the time, um, I I never really trained biceps. Um, I had like a training partner who was like who knew his stuff, and he basically you, we used to concentrate on the main things like like chest squats, um, deadlifts. Uh, and literally he just used to say right, we don't really need to train biceps they'll get trained with that and um, we just got to train the main muscles so i never really trained biceps much so they laggered so i've been trying to trying to get them trying to get them to catch up basically but uh in the process you can probably see my tricep is not it's not as big as it should be relative to my bicep now so gonna have to up that <laughs> up that tricep game <laughs> tricep game also uh, but anyway anyway so this is our bitcoin morning update so we shall go over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour, as you can see, um, yesterday we were looking, it was looking dicey. <clears throat> we were we were coming down obviously pretty sharply at our um, bottom level of, um, well, also this trend line support, but also this horizontal um, support zone. We had a nice wick into it, a wick below the trend line, um, the triangle trend line uh, pennant, um, and then got supported. So that is good to see. It was literally squeaky bum time. Hold our breaths. Hope we get supported. Hope we don't break down and just, well, capitulate down towards 30k. Uh, but at this, at the, on this iteration, um, we didn't. So that is good to see. And as you can see, we are pushing back um, to try and get um, get above um, the 38, 39,000 um, region again. Um, what I will say is that we are very mature within this formation. We could we could just drift out of it and continue trading sideways. Um, if we are to do that and trade sideways within this range, we still probably would be targeting uh, a move roughly uh, at some point to the top of the range um, of basically sub 41,000. But ultimately, if we take out 42,000, we can expect, um, expect bigger and better things. Um, but... Maybe, especially within the weekend, the bias would just be to more drifting sideways, more more um, price action being stayed in this range. Um, but nonetheless, it could get interesting. Uh, it could get interesting that close above 39 break of this trend line. I mean, certainly, it has it has a very good shot of getting us uh, into this zone. It's just a case of do we break it and get back above, which may not be the most likely scenario. Maybe the most likely scenario, if we are to break above 42, is we if we do get this move of 39 above here, acceleration into here, pull back into about the uh, 39, 38, 39,000 region um, before then uh, mounting a mounting a, a a proper attempt above. Uh, obviously, the downside is still pretty clear. Um, what we've got now is obviously a new, a nice higher low as well. Obviously in the context of the, of the triangle um obviously we've got lower highs clear lower high so now the name of the game is can we make a higher high can we not only get above the 39 but then also above well we can pretty much call this 40 over 40,000 pretty much pretty much would be a higher high also um and then yeah um looking to see looking to see what we can do with this level but um well who knows who knows i can't really say like you guys know i trade horizontals that's how that's how i view the market so i can't say whether we are going to break above it all i can say is a level if you if we close above then yes further if we don't and we get rejected and come back down then yes come back down and test like the thirty-eight thousand dollar level um so yes ethereum bitcoin um we'll just extend our horizontal across here um he's looking good here he is looking good um, if we get above this level here, um, which we are testing now, I mean, yeah, realistically, um, yeah, just um, back back above these highs would be the target. First target up here, you guys know my thoughts on this target, um, that, um, I, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to have the same reaction it would have done if we'd hit it at this point, because obviously, clearly, you can see we were due some sort of a pullback, which we got, um, 
without hitting that target. So next time, I'm not expecting such a big pullback need required, but I will expect some sort of resistance here. But ultimately, my next big target now um, for de-risking um, in uh, my Ethereum exposure will be up here now, um, which I guess we could scroll um, one spot, one four. Uh, sorry, um, sorry, zero spot one one four even. What am I even talking about? Um, but yeah, um, so is looking good. This uh, this asset is looking good. I mean, clearly, if Bitcoin gets going and confidence comes into the market, maybe maybe the pairing could initially get a bit of a pullback if it can't keep up with Bitcoin. But it does seem it does seem like there is a lot of um, upward pressure in this uh, this uh, this old Ethereum asset. Um, so who knows, you could get the move up, the break up, and Ethereum could really start to get going as people generally become more optimistic um, in the in the crypto market and therefore pile into, into high-risk coins, um, such as, obviously high-risk in Bitcoin, um, such as Ethereum. Um, the USD pairing also, um, also still not broken through this level, but yeah, break through this level. Um, realistically, um, we will be expecting um yeah moves back back to the highs probably get some probably get some resistance in this zone i mean this is going to more loosely follow the dollar price action of bitcoin which could um not be anything spectacular it could just be a grind up um but i i am expecting especially in that case if it is a sort of grind up dollar value this to definitely um start making some nice moves bitcoin dominance as well um back at our back at our horizontal again so if we take this out and we start to come back down again um it's it's gonna look very good it is gonna look very good uh dxy obviously got whacked um pretty well pretty much at our level got up to our level um then the non-farm non-farm friday um non-farm payrolls um which the market lights uh therefore risk on uh, but as you can see yeah pretty much hit this nice horizontal rejected um <clears throat> so i think this is gonna it is gonna obviously ultimately break down but we sat quite our low we sat at like a relative equilibrium value um, it seems the market is relatively happy with it down here um, So yeah, we'll just be awaiting that break. Obviously here's the move in the stock market um, on the on the on the non-farm Friday non-farm payrolls um, <clears throat> So yeah, there you go um, Stock markets liking it uh, ten year obviously making a bit of a move down obviously uh, well, obviously, <laughs> it's not necessarily obviously, but a bit of a, a bit of a move down. Um, so this is the yield going down. So that's obviously the price of bonds going uh, going up um so yeah we, we it's difficult it's difficult to necessarily gauge what exactly because obviously you've got inflation uh expectations um um obviously factoring into this um but if the yield is coming down that indicates the bond price going up which then indicates people are buying bonds which indicates risk off but also obviously that's not necessarily what's playing all that is uh, i mean <laughs> Uh, yeah, who who realistically knows um, what is going? There's there's a, there's a few variables in this market um, that that at different points in time will take the reins um, and drive it um, where it where it so pleases. Um, gold. Um, this is on the four hour. Um, gold. Um, sorry, this is silver even, <laughs> not gold. Uh, silver is on the four hour. Yeah, you can see it's pretty much trying to base above this um, above this um, major trend line now. Um, ultimately, I think this will get the move up. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, probably coinciding with an eventual breakdown in the dollar. But obviously, if the dollar does go up, just just base here and start to move up. This will this will have a downward pressure. Um, and gold as well, trying to regain trying to regain that nineteen hundred mark as well. Um, so um, yeah, on the move, on the move. Um, what else do we want to look at here? Um, yeah, just realistically, just the stochastics. We kind of looked at, kind of looked at a few things here. Um, so the stochastics is um, is the final piece of our, um, our of our daily analysis. So yeah, four hour, four hours turned back up. Now had a very nice bullish reset. Um, has turned back up. So yeah, this could this could be uh, could help us get through through that um, thirty eight thirty nine thousand dollar. Basically, gets above thirty nine thousand dollars. Um, which could then ultimately get us to forty thousand dollars, which then puts us at a new, uh, at a higher high relative to our series of lower highs, which could then um, get us basically up to up to testing the forty one, forty two, and then hey, if you get above forty two, um, yeah, things could get wild. But what I would expect if that all happens in that in that quick succession, we do basically get a nice move up, and then we probably get like a doji deal, a doji, a doji candle come back down. Um, and then um, test maybe into around the 38 level again if that if that's have to happen so quickly 
Um, if we now want to look at the 10 hour, we'll have our, oh, 10 hour, look at that. What happened there? Um, 10 hours still coming down though, so downward pressure here. Um, 12 hour though, still going up, um, still coming up, um, looking very good. Daily looking better as well, looking good. Um, two day, two day just flip flopping around at those lows. Three days still pointing up. Five days probably going to turn up eventually if we if we do get that nice move above, especially forty thousand and weekly losing its um, downward momentum also. So, so we could be looking, we could be looking at whilst in the in the in the longer in the well, I'll say the longer term, the medium term, we could just be looking at just general more sideways and a grinding up. We maybe could be sort of upping the levels that we we grind up from. Maybe we're going to start looking at a range between, maybe say, say maybe 38 and 46. Maybe this will be the new level where we can kind of trade in. Get we'll get above 42, sort of get some fake out, some some bull traps, some mini bull traps, um, where we then um, where we then ultimately um, just tr kind of trade sideways and just just build a uh, momentum. Uh, well, build confidence more than anything back up in the market. Um, but yeah, um, if you if you kind of want to look at this, um, obviously as Wyckoff uh, distribution, um, a lot uh, an equal amount of sideways here um, would be what you expect for Wyclef, Wyckoff, Wyclef, Wyclef Jean, <laughs> Wyckoff uh, accumulation. Um, so we could expect uh, sideways, yeah, potentially drifting up as well. But um, realistically, side sideways drifting up would be absolutely amazing for uh, altcoins and Ethereum potentially. Um, before then, getting a nice a nicer uh, move up as Bitcoin then starts to maybe maybe decide it wants to go on a run. So obviously, we do know the downside. I know that I heavily bias towards the upside, but the downside again closing below 35. Um, then yes, I mean we are realistically looking at um, well now we pretty much printed this um, this higher low. Uh, sorry, this uh, higher yeah high um, yeah higher low. If we do break this higher low, then um, yeah, I mean realistically 33 and even 30k is on the table uh, and probably in quick succession also because we do know how markets like to go up the uh, escalators and down the elevators, um, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon.